everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Uh, today, we're gonna work on our floor. This is Live and Be Happy. I'm Dustin. The Lord's behind the camera. We're gonna try to rip the floor out and put more floor there that's not as squishy. Um, we have a leak. I'm sure you, if you watch any other videos, you know we had a leak. And now we go in the bathroom and it's like jumping on a trampoline, like when you first get on it, like you know something's wrong. Okay, so, so far I've taken my toilet out of the bathroom and I've drawn a line where I'm gonna start this cut on this vinyl so we can see what we gotta do for the rest of it. Um, I just hope and pray we don't cut that and then we realize the whole floor is rotting. It's too late, but pray for me anyway. All right, let's do it. My God, I just finished breaking the floor when I came down here, so. All right, hang on, Mochi. Gotta follow the line. You learning, Mochi? All right, the big reveal of our soft floor. Yes. Yes, that There was is... a problem. There was definitely a problem. That is disgusting. Okay, let's put that away. It looks like it's not coming over here though. That's good. So we had we had another leak and there is some soft floor right here, but we might wait a little bit on that one. One project at a time. Is this just staples holding in for real though? Because I got a staple. Oh, it's a little nailer. It's a small, I mean, they're little small nails. nails. Yeah. Okay. All of them stayed in the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hammer every one of those in. That's okay though. Stop that. Stop, you're gonna hurt your paw. What's he doing in there? Oh my god. Okay, well, I think we have to take the wardrobe out. Wardrobe coming out, buddy. <laughs> Great. This is gonna be a long. Oh! Yeah, that is not good at all yep so it's coming out so we gotta clear all that out now i don't know if i need a respirator or what so dustin said that the uh wardrobe is like screwed side of the wall he thinks It's worse than I thought. A little bit concerned about it now. It's all wet back there, and it's like really wet. Not so sure it probably went yeah, that I think it way. Yeah, past that point. Which would mean we would have to, I mean, it's getting pretty close to where the slide is. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, we need to cut the rest of that out, take that whole piece out. We're gonna have to see how far it goes this way. And then make a decision from there. Might end up tearing a wall out. Just a one by four, so that's not the biggest deal in the world, but we'll see getting closer and closer to us just buying a new RV. No, it's not buying a new RV. <laughs> we're gonna have to do this fix this if we can't fix it, so. Okay, that's where we're at. Looks terrifying. So I got the laminate up and it's not good. When we had the leak, it was coming through the wall and coming out these two, uh, things and it was such a an obscure place where the leak was that it took a long time to actually find it to fix it and, and I guess we didn't even fix it because it's still wet wait the leak's not fixed I guess it's not fixed look how wet it is we've decided that if we're gonna pay somebody to fix it we're gonna break it first and that's what I've decided. 
We're gonna tear everything off the wall. We're gonna start with shower walls because they're annoying and I need the pan out. And I know that we can get these at Lowe's if we gotta put it back. We're gonna tear the whole wall off, see how bad it is. We're gonna go put water on the roof, see if we can find a real leak. Fix that, repair what we can. And then if it gets bad enough to the slide over there, then we're probably gonna pay somebody. But right now we're gonna keep trying. See ya. You wanna just get a pail? Start washing with pails? <laughs> no, let's go. It come out now. Oh my God. <laughs> I know I pressed that part. Okay, well that came out now. <gasps> Look at that. Turns. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I need to clean that. Less intimidating looking now. Somebody left like a rag under there. A rag? Hey, someone left a tool. Is this tool? yours? Let me see it. How did that get there? Is that yours? Yeah, how did it get there? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't take this in the shower with me. <laughs> wow, this is what we stand on. Oh my god, it doesn't feel as strong when I stand on it like that. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem very safe. It cracked a lot. <laughs> I forgot I can't get that out right now. That's disgusting. That literally is somebody's rag. <laughs> That's gross. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> So it does eventually stop. I just don't want to break because all these things are like clamped together. Mm -hmm. anyway, and I can't take that up without. So yeah, we might as well. We took all the bathroom out. We might as well take the whole thing out. Okay, more trash. Do you need a crowbar? I don't think so. Probably not. Need more silicone though. Yeah, maybe I don't know. We're we'll about to see what happens here. There's no split. Why don't you uh, use the box cutter and like just cut a line down, and then use the flathead to pry it out? This looks like the actual seam. It didn't give it all. This seam tape though, it's gotta be behind there. There we go. Found it. <laughs> Sticky stuff. Get some off. I'm trying to do it without ripping all the foam out of the ground. There we go. One's down. How are we supposed to take that out of the wall? Ain't nothing there to pull on or glue it back up. Let's just, I think there's no damage there, there because the stuff's right coming out right here. Well, here's the damage I made with the screwdriver. So we might have to take the foam out of this side, but that looks fine, I think. So this is where we're at. We basically tore down the insulation all the way down to see where it would start getting wet. We knew that the leak was coming from those electrical things right there. I had no idea that those were the um, cable and TV things that are like directly outside. So we poured water just on the TV hookups outside and we found out that was where our leak was coming from. Hello? Yeah, I can see you. So, what is it? 
So this is fiberglass. Okay. Wow. So that's interesting to know about this RV. They sell it to you like it's a steel framed fiberglass, you know, high quality thing, but this is just like plywood with like, what is it, like fiber, like fiberglass tape on it or like just like a thin Yeah. Wow, so that's good to know.